All right, girls and boys, this is a big one. This is Kaleido 3 versus Gallery 3. On the left will be Gallery 3 in the form of the Goody Reader X Big Me Galley, and on the right will be Kaleido 3 in the form of the Ink Note Color Plus. This is a good one because this is a showcase an actual on camera side by side in studio of the two latest color technologies in the e ink e reader industry. Now, unfortunately, we couldn't match sizes because there is no Kaleido 3 small device yet, and there is no big gallery 3 device yet so we're going to look at this at face value and we are going to focus on the screen only we have individual review videos of both of these units on our channel why are we only going to look at the screen right now is because this hasn't had all of its final updates ready before it ships so you will see things are very slow on it you can do things in the e-ink center to rectify this which we'll show you in a little bit but you'll never get the fluidity that you would get on here and you see as you're moving things around the screen is in a stasis mode it's not really moving or refreshing whereas gallery 3 needs to kind of kick itself in the butt a little bit and shatter the screen and spaz out in order to create an image because that's the way that ACEP or advanced color e-paper works now when you go to the e-ink center you can do some things in fact you can strip all the color away on the gallery 3 by going to black and white mode where as on Kaleido, you can't do that. So you can now see that this has pretty close to 95%-ish color completely stripped away from it. A little bit of an orange tinge to keep things moving on the back end, but for the most part, it's gone. But when you switch this to extreme mode, you now have tablet level usability and functionality. You can move things like that. You can navigate around. It's just so snappy and quick, but the colors aren't going to be as Good. And this in its speed mode will still be faster than this in its speed mode. Gallery 3 is always going to be slower than Kaleido. If it looked better, had higher PPI and was faster, there'd be no reason for Kaleido. That is the trade-off. There is always a, po a positive and a negative, pros and cons, and there's always a trade-off. Something has to give. So you can see things are moving around. It's usable to that degree, but again, this isn't finalized yet. So what we're going to do is go home on both of these unit and we are going to look at some images. These are both color images on the screen as you're seeing right now. This tiger on the Kaleido does not look very colorful and that's because pitted up against that it's really not. Look at it for yourselves. The texture is very nice on both of these. Now these are both 300 ppi but we're gonna show you something really quick on the screen. This is 300 ppi in black and white. This is 300 ppi in black and white. How Kaleido works is that this actually loses 50% of its pixel density when it comes to color. So this is only 150 ppi in color whereas the gallery 3 screen suffers no loss at 300 ppi in color as well. Moving over to a different picture, again, navigation is going to be something you're going to have to just kind of relax on the gallery. So as you click things around, you're going to have to wait until it kind of does its thing. We're going to go over to another image right here of this monkey man. So we're going to click on that and we will refresh both screens. When you have Kaleido 3 versus Kaleido 2, Kaleido 3 looks phenomenal. But then you throw gallery in the mix and it's just a completely different beast. It is not even close in terms of realism, color vibrancy, and everything else. Look how real that looks. That looks like a page out of a magazine. It is so rich. Look at the royal purple in the background. Look how beautiful the yellows are and where the colors meet each other. There's no haze. There's no weird overlap and over pixelation of everything. Then you go to Kaleido 3, and it is inherently good and fast and very high quality, but it, it looks desaturated next to Gallery. Now we can go into the e-ink center on both of these and see what kind of choices we have to rectify this. We can do Vivid Enhancement, 
which cleans it up a little bit, color brightness, which kind of adds a little bit of contrast in fact, and you can make the blacks richer with dark color enhancement as well. But you can see that no matter what you do, and we're on HD mode, so it's the highest quality mode, it doesn't really matter what you do, we can't achieve that. Whereas even in its inherent form with only a little bit of vivid enhancement, which we can turn off and it would still look the exact same basically, you're never going to be able to get this to look like that. There's just no possible way because this doesn't have the capabilities of showing as many colors and as stable of colors in a wider gamut than this can. Gallery 3 is the absolute top of the clock best looking real e-ink technology. Spectra can also be argued that it's very good, but that's really reserved for like restaurant menus and advertisements. There's no Spectra device you can buy. Whereas Gallery, Sharp is making a gallery, the Pocketbook Viva, the Big Me collaboration with us making a gallery device. This is a real tech and it's out and it's here today. So other things like DES that proves this, that, and the other thing, and RLCD, which isn't e-paper, and MIP, which is just little smartwatch screens. This is the best looking e-paper ever. It looks flawless. Now again, you're faced, if you're skipping over this video, you're faced with a lot of backlash because we do have a very slow experience on here. And that just is something that we are trying to work with Big Me to utilize software in order to rectify this. Now if we choose another similar image here with this little chipmunk guy, we can see how the reds and the yellows work with each other next to each other like that. Look how that pops. And this is the same camera shot and this is with every handout given to this. We vivid enhancement, color brightness, lower the darkness, and we just can't get there. We're not able to get up to snuff to get to here. Now, unfortunately, the gallery is going to be only a 7.8 inch screen currently because they don't make a larger screen. So if it's screen real estate you're interested in, 10.3 Big Me has always had you covered on that. Let us go back to Google Play and just look at some more things and see just a real world use case scenario of how everything is looking. So we have all these games and stuff here, color pops and everything like that, and you'll just see with Without the glow light, just how bright and vibrant the experience is on here. And it just looks a little bit dull and it needs to just kind of up itself on Kaleido 3. But that's the thing. We need to keep Kaleido 3 where it is right now because it's perfect. And what I mean is that even in HD mode, I can use this normally. I can say, all right, I'm gonna go download my stuff right now. I'm gonna download my email client. I'm gonna go over to some games and turn it into extreme mode and maybe play some games right now because you can. You can play Sonic Forces and Angry Birds and all that stuff. Whereas on here, you can't play any games yet. Not yet. You can play simple games that don't require too much instant constant refresh, but that's really where it stops because of the way that gallery works. Now there's one last thing we have to look at before we get into notes, and that is an ebook. So what we will do is go over to the Kindle app. Yes, that's the Kindle Chinese app. We're not going to be using that one. So if we go over to the Kindle app on both of these units, we will open up a book and just see what they both look like as is. Color art looks great. Cover art looks great on there. Now when you're in a book, and then you start to really see the divide kind of close because this is very gray in the background and this is kind of yellow in the background. So neither of them are ex necessarily excelling at ebook reading. Now you'll see this is very slow and everything, and that's because color is on right now. So you need to turn the color off. There's no sense in having this at its maximum HD color producing potential to read an ebook. And once you do turn the color off, it's more usable. And in fact, you can actually see some page animations and you can move it around and start reading. So that's totally fine. You can just go with that. But really you see in both its inherent state, this is kind of brown, this is kind of gray. So you're gonna have to ask yourself, what you're using these for. And in fact, we have had reports of a ton of people during our market research that people say they're gonna buy both. And that's not a pitch, it's a genuine thing because neither of them can do what the either one can do. This looks so good in color, but it doesn't move very well. This moves great, but it doesn't look great in color. So a lot of people and the labs that we send these to always say, you know what, I want both, because it's kind of true. 
So if we get a closer look here, you will see that on the gallery, it's just flawless. There's no screen pixelation. There's no blending. There's no over kind of fuzzy parts around the rounded edges or the straight edges. It just looks like it's almost real paint on a piece of paper. Whereas on the Kaleido, you see kind of a top coat layer of haze over everything. And that has a lot to do with the stack of what goes into this. And you'll also see that the backgrounds are genuinely different. This is much more dark and gray, whereas this is more close to white. And you can reference this white right here, which we use to do color balance, to see see how different it actually is in relation to a pure white surface. The Kaleido just has a little bit more problems with showing rich colors. It looks kind of like there's a layer of cloud over it. You can see the pixelation and almost a little sparkly nature of the screen itself. Whereas this looks kind of like a printed magazine, kind of that nice matte slash borderline shiny experience. It looks very pasty and it just looks smoothed over. There's really nothing else your eye is grabbing except just a complete blob of color, whereas this has catching a little bit of the light. It's reflecting it in some parts of it. It's just super different when it comes to note taking. That is not to say that either one of them is actually faster too because the galley doesn't really have a whole lot of hindrance when it comes to note taking either. That was very messy, but the point was to show the latency. They're pretty much the same. And what's beauty about this is that it didn't even refresh after I was done. So you're actually producing the final product as you're drawing. It doesn't need to render. It doesn't need to do the line and then a second later it says, okay, you're done, you're done. And it chooses the range and then renders the whole thing. It's almost like you're using paint on the screen. You do get a little bit of render time as you're drawing. You'll see the line turns black a little bit. It's a step behind. But that is the beauty of it is that while it does that, it's like, okay, here's your final product. There you go. Same with this, but the final product looks as good as it's going to look. And in terms of latency, they're pretty much identical. So we found that we were worried about the latency on the galley that it would kind of take forever note taking would be impossible and this is still on full hd mode you'll see here we haven't changed anything we're on full hd mode and still it was that fast don't worry everybody this isn't the end of it we're going to be showing gallery a lot we're going to be showing kaleido 3 a lot and there's a lot more kaleido 3 devices coming out and gallery 3 has a couple major manufacturers backing it as well this is not the final look at anything you guys can feel free to leave comments down below if there's anything you want us to show you can let us know we're also going to be doing live showcases on both of these in the upcoming weeks this will be this week this will potentially be the week after or maybe into april so don't worry we're not going anywhere there's going to be a lot more information that's going to be coming out as the days go on for now Thanks for watching, Gallery 3 vs. Kaleido 3.